How's it going YouTube? Welcome to Island of Vape. Okay, first off, uh, apologies for not having uploaded a video in a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been really busy basically trying to get my arse in gear. I'm going off to London uh, for about a, a week in a couple of days time. So um, I'm gonna vlog that as well, hopefully. I'm gonna take the camera with me, try and get some stuff. Gonna go to Avant Garde and uh, UK e-cig store, hopefully. Um, but also just generally like, my vaping experience in London, like you know, how how is how accepted is it? You know, where where can you do it? Where can't you do it? So check check that out. Um, well, check it out when I put it up uh, in, in a week or two. Um, but for now, no. Um, back to the usual uh, sort of stuff. I figured today uh, we take a look at this this little puppy. Uh, it is White Tiger by Traditional Juice Co. Uh, out of Orange County in California, I believe. Uh, got it in three milligrams, 15 milliliter bottle. I got this from uh, vapeclub.co.uk, um, my usual source of everything vape. Um, obviously, I know there's some stuff coming up recently. Uh, a lot of YouTubers going on about the, the whole kind of idea of sponsor videos and stuff. I don't get any money for any of this. Uh, I buy all this stuff off my own back. Uh, it's just a case of reviewing whatever it is I have, really, uh, just to let you guys know. That's not to say we wouldn't do sponsored vids. You know, if someone wanted to send us loads of, of juices or free stuff and, and give me to review it, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to say no to that. But at the same time, you know, I'd, I'd let you guys know if it was sponsored. So just bear that in mind. Everything's paid for out of my own pocket. So why have I got this juice? Well, basically, I set the girlfriend a task of go on the website find a couple of juices you want and uh, we'll pick them up and see see what they're like. She chose this one. It's um, kind of a, it's supposed to be like a vanilla milkshake um, or vanilla bean milkshake with a blueberry and strawberry, um, which sounded pretty good actually. So uh, I was quite eager to check it out. I believe it's only available in 15 milliliter bottles in, in the UK, certainly on Vape Club it was. Um, it's as far as Nick strength go, uh, it's the regular kind of 0, 3, 6, 12 and 18. Uh, as far as the smell of it goes, well, I get a lot of vanilla, that's for sure, and probably more strawberry, I think, than blueberry, um, but you know, you guys know me, I'm a big strawberry fan, so that's, that's hardly going to be a bad thing. So I've put it in a tank, um, it's it's in a, surprise, surprise, Atlantis V2 uh, airflow on the top wide open. Airflow on the bottom, I've actually got it uh, set to the slightly lower setting uh, with the kind of couple of mil hole there and a slightly smaller than full hole there um, vaping on the vapor shark dna 200 we've got it at a nice solid 40 watts on a 0.4 ohm coil or 0.44 as it's reading there uh, no temperature control just a regular canthal coil so let's see how it goes That's really nice. It's actually really, really smooth. Um, PG to VG on it is 60-40. Um, so it still chucks pretty good clouds. I mean, in all fairness, let's be honest, these sub -ohm tanks these days, anything from a 50-50 PG VG is going to be relatively good clouds. Um, but 60-40, yeah, you, you're going to be chucking them. The Flavor-wise, lots of vanilla, lots and lots of vanilla. It definitely tastes like a strawberry and vanilla milkshake. Um, maybe not so much. I'd, I'd, I'd kind of liken it like if you've ever had those mini milk uh, ice lollies like when you're a kid the little the long thin kind of pink and white uh, lollies it's a lot like those like especially the strawberry ones um th there's a hint of blueberry in there as well definitely you, you can kind of taste that a little complements the strawberries really well um but certainly on the exhale big big sort of um strawberries and cream a lot like the original mother's milk actually um not too dissimilar to that Definitely something that I could get on with all day. Um, three milligrams as well um, reduces the kind of nicotine hit or the throat hit that you get from it. I've actually been on 1.5 milligram juices uh, quite a lot recently um, just because I find myself, you know, kind of playing PC games or whatever. Like if I'm vaping non stop, um, I'd rather reduce the nicotine intake on that. I'm, I'm hitting some zeros as well. So I'm noticing the nicotine in this a little more, the throat hit certainly. If you're used to higher nicotine levels, um, you probably won't notice it quite as much, 
Uh, it's probably only really because I've jumped up another 1.5 milligrams that I notice it. Um, but it's not the be all and the end all. It's not terrible. It's not going to stop me from using it. Um, I'm actually really enjoying it, and I know. Uh, I know the girlfriend is as well. She's she's really into this. She's been through a couple of tanks already. Definitely, if you're looking for something kind of creamy with a little bit of fruit in it as well, um, go and pick this up. This is this is really nice. It's a it's a great juice and uh, certainly one that I'm going to recommend to to friends and family. So there you have it. That's my thoughts on traditional Juice Co's White Tiger. Um, I'll give you another little look there. The artwork on this is pretty cool. Uh, that old kind of Chinese Japanese style tiger on the front there. Um, the guys the guys at uh, Traditional Juice Co. Do have some really cool, uh, some really cool artwork on the, the the bottles. So go and check them out. So as ever, like, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah, blah. and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy vaping.